Let's go. Welcome to Lakeside Speedway. Let's all cheer on Richard and Jason McCauley. We're here at Lakeside Speedway tonight, and I caught up with a longtime racer at I-70 Lakeside, Doug Richards, Jake Richards' dad. Doug, you've made a lot of laps around both of them, man. What do you uh, think of the racing nowadays? Oh, I like the racing nowadays. I still enjoy coming and watching, and so I just wished I could still do it. <laughs> You're not the only one. I bet there's a lot of guys that say the same thing, but... Uh, I know uh, it's got to be quite a bit more expensive even than when you were doing it I-70 because, man, that was a ton of money out there, wasn't it? Yeah, and when we raced at I-70 and, and ourselves, we used to build our own stuff. Yeah. Well, nowadays you buy it. Yeah, yeah. And it, you know, throw it's away, just, just like everything else. Just throw away cars. Just throw away cars, yeah. But there's some fast stuff out there. Yeah. I've been kind of watching the, uh, Jake here a little bit this year. Of course, last year he had a pretty good year. I think he was pretty high in the points. And nationally, fourth, and fourth in USRA, fourth in the USA, which is boy, that's a big hill to climb. Yes, it is. You got to be pretty proud. Oh yes, I am. I'm proud of him. I know. I've, it looks like everybody stepped it up again this year a little bit in MB mods, and it is faster than ever. Yeah, even this year, it looks like they went fast. They're all faster. I keep saying that I think these B mods anymore are just about as fast what the A mods were about 10 years ago. You know, these B mods that we got nowadays. Are the A mods like Clint Boyer used to run from, yes. from down here? Yeah. You know, they, both cars that Clint run were two link cars, just like the B mods. Yeah. So yeah, they're they're like the old A mods. Yeah. If you had your choice, Doug, would you like to go back running asphalt? If you could come back, would you like to go back running asphalt, or would you want to get on the dirt? Asphalt. I thought, I thought that's what it would be. Because I didn't have to wash the car every week. <laughs> Not as much dirt on everything, right? Not as much dirt. Yeah. Were they probably with a smoother track? They probably weren't. You didn't have to check stuff quite as much as these guys do. Because man, the vibration out here, let alone just from the way they pack it with these uh, knobby or knobby packers, it just divots all over the place. Just shake it to pieces. Yeah, but you, they, there's still a lot of maintenance on a on a pavement car. A lot of maintenance. Well, they've rolled out the first heat, Doug. Let's sit back and enjoy the races here at Lakeside tonight. We will. Thank you. Good talking with you, buddy. You. All right, it'll be Waylon and David Holcomb as they lead them down through the front stretch. Here we go. Waylon, the double zero. Heater on the high side with the 46 of Holcomb. Right now, Nick Waylon as your leader here on lap number one. Waylon. Heater makes a good run on the high side. He comes out of turn number four, but it's Nick Whalen. Holcomb and Heater in that second spot. Heater making the high side work. work. Holcomb side by side. Here comes Anderson in the 417. Crazy Dave in the 27. Still Nick Whalen. Heater making a run on the high side. So Nick Whalen. With Heater now as your new race leader. 22.3, the quick time that time. No, Waylon in the second spot with a 22. Here comes Anderson in the 417 up to third now. Gets by Holcomb. Let's see if Anderson has anything up on that top side. Here's Heater. As the car goes around, Jameson in the 98 up high here in turns three and Ford Richard Jameson goes around. That brings out the first caution. And in the turn four, green flag flies. Here we go. So Heater, Anderson, Waylon. Now Oxford gets into the back end of the 46 of David Holcomb. Let's see if he can continue. He does as he swings that car back around. But your leaders coming off of turn four up here. It's Heater, Anderson, Whalen. The 27 of Oxford, the 98 of Richard Jameson. Heater as he starts to pull away now. Battle for the second spot. Four laps down. Heater still brings him out of four as your leader. Good battle between the two here as the dirty 30 goes around. 
Anderson Heater. Whalen, the 27 of Oxford. And the 46 of Holcomb just behind him. Anderson with the run on the high side. Whalen tried to make it work on that double zero down low. But right now, Heater and Anderson, your top two. That'll be lap number six in the book, so halfway that time. Holcomb now tries to make work on the low side out of turn two. Gets by the 27 of Oxford. Those two cars tangled earlier. But your leader, Brett Heater. So Heater, Anderson, Whalen, and Holcomb now. 22-0-6 to a 22-3-2 with your top two cars. So Heater obviously with the quicker of the two cars as he starts to pull away. Lap number eight, so just four to go. So Heater, Anderson starting to pull away from the field. Waylon Holcomb. Oxford in the 27 as your race leader comes back by us here on lap number nine. That'll mean three to go. Jameson in the 98. The 30 of Dakota Jennings. As the stock cars start to stretch out here even more with your two leaders. Under 23 seconds, Brett Heater. White flag will come out this next time across. This is lap number 10. For Brett Heater, your race leader, Kevin Anderson. The double O of Nick Whalen. Holcomb. There's your top four. White flag comes out for your leader, Brett Heater. Three. Yeah. Brett Heater, as he comes around, turn number four with the checkered flag ready to fly. Your winner tonight out of Lewisburg, Kansas, Brett Heater. The 417 of Anderson, David Holcomb, followed by the double O of Nick Whalen. David Oxford, followed by Richard Jameson and Dick. Brett, there you go. In victory lane, Brett Heater picking up his third win of the season here tonight at Lakeside Speedway. The rest of the crew gets out here to greet him as well. Big time bail bonds number 05, Heater Cheater engine over there. Brett, I'm going to... Brett... Come up here, bud. <laughs> yeah, Heater! Brett, once again, try to get a word from me here with the mic. You were pulling away there about three tenths of a lap. Even after you passed the coach, man, this thing, I just can't even say enough about this car. It is so well put together and fast this year. Yeah, I can't say enough about this car. I can do anything I want in this thing, and it, it just lets me do it. It's, it's crazy. I, I'm telling you, you cannot drive this car any harder than I'm driving it. I'm not beating these guys because of motor. I'm not beating them for no other reason than I can just simply drive this car harder than they can drive theirs. It's, I tell you what, it's a hot rod. It'd be good for somebody to get in this one. I know your schedule's probably about ready to get busy. I know you're going to go chase some Iron Man stuff. When does that all start for you? Uh, we leave out next Thursday, so uh, you'll see a new face down here next Friday night. Uh, we'll be up in Minnesota, then Iowa. Good luck to you out there, sir. Celebrate this win with the family here tonight. Brett Heater, your winner again in tonight's USRA Stock Car Main Event. Lisa Burling.
And watch your cars, watch your flagman, Terry Wantlin about to get busy on the perch. He does, and here we go, your USRA B mods are underway. Patrick Royalty, P-Money will lead him into corner number one. He'll bring Brad Smith, Tim Powell, and Brad Smith, as well as Luke, Luke Neiman, four wide on entry on one. Now they're three wide on entry in three. This is going to be a barn burner feature here tonight at Lakeside Speedway. Two wide for the lead up front. And the 181 of Luke Neiman has it. Patrick Royalty right there in that second spot, followed by Brad Smith in third. Andy Bryant now makes his way up to fourth, but now he challenges for second off of corner number two. Bryant on the low side, Patrick Royalty to the outside. Here comes Tim Powell trying to make it five in a row. Can the 57 get up there and challenge? Right now it's a five-car breakaway with Tim Powell, Andy Bryant, Brad Smith, Patrick Royalty, and Luke Neiman in the way here at lap number two. Luke Neiman fencing number 181 now has company up front as Fort Scott, Kansas driver Andy Bryant, your 2015 USRA national champion, challenges and pressures for the lead here into corner number three. This will be lap number three as they come by. Luke Neiman up high, Andy Bryant down low. Neiman once again trying to get the lead at the line, but Andy Bryant is your new leader here at lap number three. Andy Bryant now out front. Luke Neiman slips back into that second spot. Patrick Royalty now third, but don't look now as here comes Tim Powell. Tim Powell Powell now making his way forward. Powell now up into that third spot. Was just fourth a lap ago. Brad Smith settles back into fifth behind P. Money. Patrick Royalty at lap number four this time. Andy Bryant still out front in the 28. So Andy Bryant will have a challenge here in just a moment as Tim Powell seems to be one of the fastest cars on the tracks right now. On the track right now, Andy Bryant turning a lap of 21.107 for his best. Tim Powell right there with him with a 21.1. Bryant continues to lead. Luke Neiman, Tim Powell, Patrick Royalty, Brad Smith, Galvin just behind him. Jake Richards now starting to come alive. Jake Richards up to that seventh spot. One car hard in the fence down here into quarter number one. Way up on the high side. Sam Schuler looks like he's up in the fence and the yellow flag will fly. Yellow flag will have to fly. Schuler making heavy contact there with the turn number one wall. Yellow is out for the first time at lap number five in our 15 lap USRA B Mod main event here. 30 laps of racing on the river's edge at Lakeside Speedway. As he gets on the hammer once again, we are at lap number five. Andy Bryant gets on the throttle. We're back underway with Terry Wantlin waving the green material in the sky. Here we go. Tim Powell immediately gets up there, takes over that second spot from Luke Neiman. Luke Neiman now slips just a little bit. Here comes Patrick Royalty. Then Patrick slips just a little. Now Brad Smith will be up there to challenge him. And don't look now. Jake Richards knocking on the door to the top five. Has made his way to that sixth position. Coming around the lead another lap will be Andy Bryant down on the low side. It's Bryant. Powell, Neiman, they're side by side at the line. Great run by those two drivers. Nearly side by side at the line. A difference of .997 from the lead to second place. That great battle for second. Now a great battle shaping up for third and fourth. Fourth on back, fourth, fifth, and sixth. A great one as well. Bryant well in control of this one. The two cars running second and third side by side behind them at lap number seven. Seven down. Eight to go, 15 laps the distance. Tim Powell now underneath, trying to run the hub off corner number two, but Luke Neiman gets the better run on the high side into corner number three. Neiman will stay strong up on the high side. Powell down low, able to hold the grip off of corner number four, but Powell a little bit sideways, and Neiman will come back around now to take second back over. So Luke Neiman not giving up just yet. Tim Powell very strong on entry on one, but the car just not getting off corner number two very good, and that's where Luke Neiman is able to make some hay. Neiman now able to take back over that second spot, so Powell unable to reel in. Race long leader Andy Bryan out of Fort Scott, Kansas in the 28. Well in control of this one now with a 1.316 second advantage, so he's pulling away from the field. Powell now back to second, just as I say that. Powell trying to come back to life here. Neiman once again to the outside. If this was the battle for first, it would be the race of the night, Ray, possibly the race of the year. Great battle as these two drivers go at it head to head for second place. Brad Smith now pulling up on that battle. Smith now up to fourth. Royalty will slip back to fifth. Jake Richards still back there in sixth. Galvin now up to seventh. Jaden Bears up into that eighth spot. Ty Tyson Landferman back there in ninth. Don Mars is tenth. Chase Galvin back there in 11th. Those cars still remain on the field, as well as Ace Chateau, a new driver here with us tonight. 
Again, side by side at the line for a second here at lap number 11, just four laps to go. Now, lap traffic coming into play as Ace Chateau, a new driver, keeps it way down on the low side, stays out of the driver's racing lane. They're all into quarter number three, but Tim Powell does have to go to the high side just a little bit to get around Chateau. And here comes Luke Neiman once again, side by side. Luke Neiman back to second spot there at lap number 12. Three laps to go. Powell doing everything he can to reel in race long leader Andy Bryan in the 28. The 2015 National USRA champion looking very strong here after a struggle week the last time he was here. Missed the setup completely. Him and his dad went back to the notebook, went back to work. It looks like it might pay off here tonight. Just two more laps to go at lap number 13. Andy Bryant, Tim Powell, Luke Neiman, Brad Smith, your top four, all separated by just 1.867 seconds here to finish it up. Racing on the river's edge at Lakeside Speedway. It'll be the white flag this time around from flagman Terry Wantland. Andy Bryant down low. Tim Powell low just behind him. Neiman up high at the white flag. One to go. Neiman just ahead of Tim Powell. That time now a 1.566 second differential. So they're closing in on Andy Bryan here on the final corners. Final stretch into corner number three for the final time. Andy Bryan in the number 28 machine will keep it on the hub. And off of turn number four out of Fort Scott, Kansas, Andy Bryant, your winner here tonight. Luke Neiman crosses the line in second, just edging out. Tim Powell in the 57 in the third spot. Brad Smith will bring it home in fourth, followed by Patrick Royalty, Jake Richards, Jaden Bears, Tim Galvin, Tyson Lamferman, and Don Mars will round out the top ten. What a run to the checkers tonight by Fort Scott, Kansas driver Andy Bryant in the 28 as he leads from green to checkered here tonight, getting the feature win. Again, he won 11 feature races here last year. Brad Smith picked up the championship, but Bryant won the most features events. He finally gets back to victory lane here and becomes the third different driver. And the driver to end the four in a row streak by Tim Powell is your 2015 USRA National B-Mod champion in USRA competition. Andy Bryan of Fort Scott, Kansas will send it down to Alan Miller. Integra Racing Shocks, Elite Bulldog. As he gets up out of the car, Andy Bryan! It's your winner tonight. The Moyer Chassis. Swiss Springs also sponsor on that car as well. Andy, you got it figured out. Got that. Uh, we were talking about this earlier in the pits tonight. You said we're going to get it. We're going to hit it tonight and uh, hopefully get a win. Yeah, I got to thank my dad. He spends countless hours making this car as good as it is, and I just can't thank him enough for all the hard work he does. I also got to thank Swiss Springs for coming out today. They help us a lot this year and hope to see what the future brings for between us two. I'd also like to thank Dynamic Drive Lines, Victor, Victory Moore. Race chassis, Carl's performance engines, and just everybody else on this car. They do so much for me, and I can't thank them enough for what they do for me. All right, congratulations on your win tonight. Andy Bryan out of Fort Scott, Kansas. Scott and Carrick, Benninger, Hannah, Schaffman. Here we go, coming out of turn number four, underway. 20 lap A main event, Stormy Scott to the top. Here comes the 1K of Tim Carrick as he makes the run out of turn number two. Benninger just behind them, Schaffman. This is lap number one, Stormy Scott, the 1K of Carrick. Your two Vanderbilt chassis out by here at the top. Benninger, Hannah in the 13K, race leader again. Stormy Scott in the 2S. Carrick as they start to pull away from the field here. Benninger just behind your top two drivers as now Davis goes to the high side in the 68. Lap number two that time across with Scott, Carrick, Benninger, Schaffman, and Davis, your top five. And now Stormy Scott starts to pull away as he comes into three and four, just two laps down out of 20. This will be lap number three as they come across this time, Scott. Carrick and Benninger. Davis now, as he puts pressure on the three of Benninger. Benninger just behind the 1K of Carrick. Behind them, Davis and Schaffman. 
Schweitzer in the 13 of Hannah. Stormy Scott, your leader here on lap number four. Benninger now putting some pressure on the 1K. Here comes Davis in the 68. Meanwhile, it's Scott as he starts to pull away from the field here. 1K of Carrick, Benninger, Davis, and Schaffman. There's your top five on lap number five. Your Casey's General Store race night here, racing on the river's edge at Lakeside Speedway with your leader, Stormy Scott, pulling away from the field here on lap number six. Carrick and Benninger and Davis now a good battle here for second and third as Davis now goes to the high side. Let's see if he can make that work. He does get a good run. Davis now putting pressure on the 1K of Carrick. Here comes Carrie Davis. Kerry Davis on that high side, making it work up there. Here comes Davis now up into second. The battle back here. Davis, the 1K of Carrick. Benninger just behind them. Schaffman and then Schweitzer. Good battle for second with Davis and Carrick. Side by side coming into turn number four. Carrick now trying to fight back. But it's Davis in that second spot as, meantime, Stormy Scott. Straight away lead, but the battle back here in second place with Davis, Carrick, then Benninger. There's your top four. Carrick trying to fight back on that low side. Still Carrick. Davis, Kerry Davis still scored in that second spot. Carrick and Benninger. Problem on the 13. Eric Hanna. He's been having some engine problems. Looks like that engine may have gone. Tough break there for Eric Hanna. Raffman. Here we go. Davis goes to that high side, coming out of turn two, gets a good run up there. Davis up into second now. Stormy Scott stays down on the low side. Davis on the high side. Here comes Nick Benninger as well up there, the 1K of Carrick. Schaffman. That's lap number 10, so just 10 to go for your leader, Stormy Scott. Out of New Mexico, but based over here in Cameron, Missouri now. Stormy Scott is your leader. Kerry Davis, Tim Carrick. Carrick goes around here, almost up into the wall. And looks like he taps the wall up there as the caution comes. So 11 down, 9 remain. Stormy Scott in command so far. The green furled flag, here we go. See if we can finish her up. Davis again to that high side, here comes Benninger now on the low side as Carrick makes it back out. Tim Carrick in that 1K able to make it back out. So Benninger now making a run on the high side for that second spot, Davis still hanging on here. The 1K of Tim Carrick back on the track. Probably trying to get some lap time in in that car. Stormy Scott starting to pull away again. Scott with a 20.1. Davis, 1.5 second lead over Davis Benninger. Stormy Scott brings it down into turns number three and four. Davis and Benninger for that second position. That's lap 14, so six remain for Stormy Scott. Let's go. 
So Scott Davis Vinegar Schaffman Schweitzer. The 1K of Tim Carrick remains out as he continues. Now a 2.3 second lead as he starts to pull away from the field. 15 down. This will be lap 16. Four to go this time across. Stormy Scott, your race leader, coming down into turn number four. Three remain. This time across for Scott. Davis, Benninger, Schaffman and Schweitzer, Tim Carrick. Got that car back out on the track, getting some valuable track time with the new chassis. But it's Stormy Scott. Next time across, white flag will be out. Out of Aurora, Hondo, New Mexico. But now based up in Cameron, I believe. White flag out for your leader, Stormy Scott. Okay. Davis. Vinegar. Final turns here for Southern New Mexico's Stormy Scott and the two S as he brings it to the line, picks up the win at Lakeside. Stormy Scott, your winner here tonight. Nice run here by Kerry Davis in the 68 Van Chevrolet to bring it home in second, followed by Nick Benninger in that third position. Last year's champion finishing third. Mark Chapman hangs on to fourth, followed by Rodney Schweitzer and Tim Carrick. So Stormy Scott picks up the win tonight in the 2S machine, and he makes his way back to the pit area with Kerry Davis in that second spot. Good run by Kerry there, as well as Nick Benninger third. Chapman, Mark Chapman is fourth. Rodney Schweitzer back there in fifth, and Tim Carrick picking up some laps in the new Vanderbilt chassis, and the 1K rounds out your top six.